Hi Scorpio, welcome back. So Scorpio, this is going to be your you versus them reading. I'm going to go back and forth between you and the person you may be connecting with. Um, keep in mind it's a general reading so the roles can be reversed. Feel free to flip it if you need to. Also, my readings are timeless so I just trust that when this finds you, it's for you. So I got a lot of interesting images, Scorpio, when I was meditating on the overall energy um, for you. And the first image I got was actually somebody using their hands and they were showing someone like this, like step by step by step. And so that could just be your approach in general, as I do find Scorpios are very practical signs. Um, it's just to take it, you know, step by step by step. Or that may be what Spirit's wanting you to do. Take one day at a time, you know, take it as it comes. Don't get too far ahead of yourself. And like that is the building blocks of life. When we can spend the majority of our time and energy finding good in the present moment, and um, just staying in that appreciation, it slowly develops into an enjoyable life. And so that may be something that you're working towards or spirits guiding you towards um, during this time frame. I also got, um, uh, so, I heard someone's voice um, and I, what they said was, Oh, you think I'm the crazy one or something to do with like, or like feeling like, okay, how come it's always my fault or how come, you know, I'm the, I'm the bad one. So some of you feel like, you know, that something's always getting put on you or like the blame always seems to be shifted your way or there's some sort of defensiveness, but it's coming from a place of feeling like someone does not take ownership, you know, or someone's not taking ownership of their portion of whatever the issue is that you may have going on during this time frame and certainly like I said it could be someone that feels that way about you but I feel that's kind of your energy coming through um, and then I kept getting the phrase turn around and then I was getting all these different songs with the term turn around turn around bright eyes don't turn around ace of base <laughs> it's like every song that had the term turn around started playing in my mind so I don't think it's so much about the song as the significance of you know a situation turning around during this time frame or maybe you're turning your energy or shifting your energy into a different direction during this time frame but um yeah that's kind of the overall energy that I was feeling and I feel like also the um, new moon may be significant, which is around the 13th, which is that today? No, tomorrow. Um, but also the full moon towards the end of January, I think would be more so significant as it comes to like your emotional self, your uh, um, emotional awareness as we leave Capricorn and go into Aquarius, especially if you have Aquarius in your birth chart. So Scorpio, the card that came out while I was yabber in there was your card the eighth house um of intimacy so this is your this is scorpion energy that's showing up um so i feel like you're kind of right in your wheelhouse as it pertains to this upcoming time period this is about intensity duh uh investments though um contracts your sexual life your kundalini energy um it's a very mysterious type of eye and it can also be very obsessive it can be a bit stalkerific uh whether that's you or someone you're dealing with you know it might bring out um paranoias even you know um fixations that you may have maybe heightened during this time frame so just something to be aware of okay we all have a shadow side we we should not uh live our entire lives in our shadow side but we also shouldn't be ashamed of it or push it away, you know, because shadow work is important. So for some of you, that may be what's going on for you or the person that you're connected with. But I mean, either way, I feel like Scorpio for you, I don't even feel this is shadow work. I feel like, you know, you're kind of comfortable uh, in that type of energy. Most of the, most of you, I should say. Um, so it could be this person that I'm feeling. But Let's see, okay, so your overall energy is the Seven of Pentacles, which is talking about your vision, you know, and I think that's where I got that imagery from, of someone saying one step at a time, you know, um, so I feel like these are building blocks, if you look at the uh, depiction of the card, uh, they're building off of each other, so I feel like 
you're slowly making a lot of progress within your life or within your energy. And, and it's partly because you've been able to hold on to a vision of something that you want or you're working towards. Um, and also hard work pays off. I find that Scorpios are some of the hardest working people on the planet. Um, especially if you also have Scorpio in your Mercury, but I just feel like you have a vision, you're going towards it, you're making progress, you're trying to maybe stay patient. There might be a little bit of dissatisfaction in your energy. Sometimes a seven of pentacles can be uh, a bit of like not wanting to see things go faster than maybe what you're ready for. Um, which I think is why I got the encouragement from spirit to take it kind of like one step at a time, right? Woo! This person's energy is the Ten of Wands, the Fool, and the Star card. So Aries Aquarius energy here for some of you. This person is, you know, wanting to uplift that's the word I heard. And I don't think it's necessarily in anything to do with you or anybody else. I think it's themselves, you know, wanting to lift themselves out of a very heavy energy. They may have had a lot of burdens um, placed on them, whether it comes to this connection or just other areas in their life. And this person is getting some sort of upliftment in their energy from spirit. So um, they're looking for new beginnings, um, looking for a more adventurous type of energy to come in. This person has a lot of hope in their energy as the star represents hope. So this person could be hoping to kind of release some burdens, really let go, truly have new beginnings, you know, but they're kind of ignoring some red flags here. So we'll get to the bottom of that and see what the possible red flags are. But I definitely see that someone, most likely this person is ignoring some sort of warning, you know, um, in hopes of something better, you know, because that's the term that I'm getting now. So like this person could be coming from a very hopeful energy and like ready to take some action and then accidentally like get in over their head. You know what I'm saying? Like they may be in a very light vibration or when they're feeling uplifted, they make a, they make a decision or they commit to something. And then that before they know it, they're in over their head, <laughs> like that type of energy. Uh, and I can't, I can't tell if that's like past or present or future, but that's what I feel. And I heard in over their head. So the chariot is showing up here for the recent past energy. And then you have the ace of pentacles. So definitely, you know, making some pro progress towards your own goals, Scorpio, okay? And seeing some tangible results, okay? Um, seeing things that you can um, actually... <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Seeing things that you can actually like take home to mama or take home to the bank. You know what I'm saying? Like you've been getting like actual results, whether it's like within your own physical body, feeling better, money, new jobs, you know, more security, that type of stuff. And it's coming from a place of, you know, just kind of being at peace with what it is. Yeah, you're planning the future, but you're not like in a race to get there. I feel like you're really all about kind of taking your time, like enjoying the present moment. And if you haven't been in that energy, that's strongly, strongly the encouragement from spirit. But I actually feel like you're already there. You know what I'm saying? Um, because I have a song in my head. Because I'm already there. Is that a country song? I can't hear the rest of it. The lyric was, I'm already there. So I feel like, you know, for a lot of you, you might not be like to the finish line, but you're certainly comfortable with where you're at now, or you're growing to be comfortable with your current achievements. And because you're getting like comfortable with your current achievements, you're pulling in more things to feel 
achieved about, <laughs> if that makes sense, accomplished, you know, um, it's like one accomplishment leads to another and another and another and another. And that's how law of attraction works, right? So I feel like your hard work is paying off. That's what I felt at the beginning of the reading. And it's providing you more emotional balance. It's providing you kind of more of a clear state of mind so that you can really see clearly what is it that you want to continue to invest in and what is not worth the time. So let's see what this person's energy is. Recent past. Queen of Wands, the Sun, Eight of Swords, Six of Cups. So I feel like um, Scorpio, this person may have turned their back on you or turned a different direction. You know what I'm saying? Um, I always get the occult with this because of the black cat and I'm not saying that this person is into the occult but maybe I don't know this is my witchy card they might be a little witchy just in general but <laughs> I feel like this person kind of turned their back on the connection at some point in search of their own happiness for a lot of you for a lot of you that's more so what it is but then having trouble finding it you know not really being clear on what it is that even makes them happy. And so it's like they went on this path, this search for happiness, and then got confused along the way as to, you know, what is true happiness and what is not. And I feel like this person's had to explore that path um, as part of their own soul growth so that they could realize, you know, what is most important to them and what is not. But I, as for some, like, the occult type of message that I got, it could be like putting too much energy into, um, like things and objects and status and things like that. Certainly, um, it could be like an energetic occult, you know what I'm saying? That they were giving attention to thinking like happiness would be, you know, within that area of their life. And actually you can derive happiness from success. Absolutely. That's what you're doing right now. But but it's all in how you go about it. Like the the inspiration and the the feeling of success comes from within and then usually it also manifests around. But it's not the end all and be all, right? And I think like that's what this person has come to the conclusion of and or that's kind of what their path is about or has been about is like figuring out all avenues of happiness, just not... A one area that provides it but like how um how to derive it out of every situation or every connection that type of energy right um this person's kind of been their own worst enemy this could be someone that you have a past with have children with um or just similar childhoods or similar uh upbringings even than this person um if not just simply flat out past history so this would not be a new person in your life um, for those of you who are wanting that, this reading is probably not going to be for you because this looks like you have, you know, this person, you know, you have history with them, um, and they have a history of walling off. Okay. And it's because they're in search of what is most right for them. And maybe the way that they have coped in the past was to kind of restrict themselves just all together from life, from you, from whatever. I do find it interesting that I got that message with this card because I don't usually get that message. But you have a connection with this person uh, from childhood. And I'm not saying you knew this person in childhood. For some of you, maybe. But I'm saying there's a familiarity with the type of environment or energy that you both grew up in. All right. So your perception of this connection, the hermit, the magician, the seven of swords and the four of pentacles. Um, Scorpio, keep in mind that perception is the eye in the eye of the beholder. Okay, so this might be how you're seeing it, but it may not be how they're seeing it. That's the funny thing about perception. But we're going to start there, okay? So you really thought deeply about this. Some of you have tried to manifest this person back into your life. Of course, you would not show that to them. Uh, with the Seven of Swords here, this is hiding. 
you, you're hiding that and or they could be doing that to you, but I'm seeing it show up in your thought structure. So I feel like you may have had a hard time of letting go of the connection and or just letting go in general when it comes to this person. Okay, it could be even a grudge uh, because I got that word. And, you know, Scorpio is a fixed sign. So not saying all Scorpios hold grudges, but it is hard for Scorpios to let things go, especially if they've been hurt deeply, okay? It's just a fixed sign thing. Um, I, I just feel like you've done a lot of soul searching around the connection. You know, you've done a lot of playing around with it as well. Some of you may have played with this person even because I'm seeing a cat play with some yarn or they you. Um... But there was definitely games being played uh, in the mind or the emotions. And um, that could be how you're viewing them. They certainly could have done that to you. But it also could have been your energy, Scorpio. So take it as it resonates. I feel like you figured some things out about yourself through the connection. Most definitely. But it's like all is yet to be revealed. Okay, because there's a lot of hidden energy. There's a lot of introversion as well. So when it comes to emotions, it's not like free flowing. You know, it's like keeping things to yourself, you know, not feeling comfortable opening up, you know, but at the same time, wanting to manifest the connection, you know, or playing around with it in your mind or your heart, like that type of energy. So let's see what this person's perception is, Scorpio, of the connection. Ace of Cups, the Eight of Wands, Whoa. <laughs> the Seven of Pentacles, okay, so I'm getting more of the lyrics, I, it's funny because I have two songs that are being intertwined in my head, it, one is a country song and the lyric is, I'm already there. Um, and then the other one is Kelly Clarkson. You know the song she sang when she won American Idol? Cause I'm already there. Dream of a lifetime. It's weird, because I know there's two... Lone Star might be the country singer. It's been a really long time since I've listened to that. But it's like the songs are intertwining in my mind. So, um... It's like both of you could be thinking or feeling the same thing, but in slightly different perspectives. But there is like this going on energetically. All right. So this person sees you as the Ace of Cups, Eight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. This person has, you know, a lot of love for you. They may be in love with you, Scorpio. They may feel a lot of emotion towards you. Um, this person, it's like they want to open up their emotions, you know, or they have or they will communicate because right next to it is the Eight of Wands. So this is expressing emotion right here. And then there's like this waiting period on this person's side and then feeling left out in the cold and then going to work on themselves. So, Scorpio, some of you may have left this person on red, left them out in the cold, you know, um, not maybe because you were holding a grudge or because, you know, I'm sure you have reasons, whatever. Interestingly enough, at the same time, still thinking about the person, maybe even wanting to manifest the connection, but not expressing that to them. This could be past or present energy. And because of that, this person turned within. They started working on other parts of their life, you know, for some of them in the career sector, for some of them, you know, just try to keep their mind busy as they patiently waited. Um, but it made this person feel uncared for, unloved, you know, alone. And, and, or it could be vice versa. Okay. I don't know how many times I have to say that this person could have left you on red and that could have been, been how it made you feel. For some of you, you're going back and forth where it's like, I'm going to hurt you. Okay. Now you hurt me. Now I'm going to hurt you. No. Okay. Now you hurt me less. So now my turn to hurt you. <laughs> it's a bit crazy. You know, uh, some of you, it is that back and forth, right? Careful with that energy, but not all of you. It's just like this person wants to emotionally express so badly. 
or they want you to open up to them. That could be what it is. They could be waiting for you to open up, you know, um, and in the meantime, feeling a bit lackluster or trying to focus their attention elsewhere into other parts of their life. Um, but I definitely get someone waiting on someone else to express and, um, yeah. So let's go into the emotions. How do you genuinely feel underneath all of that Scorpio, um, beyond the perception. So that perception is ego, it's thought. Now we're going to go into the depth, the emotion, your soul. What does your soul genuinely feel? Here's your focus at four of wands. You're celebrating some new beginnings in your life. That's why I said I felt like there's a sense of, you know, accomplishment here. I kind of felt that at the beginning of the reading. I have the song Step by Step playing in my head. <laughs> Ooh, the Ace of Cups. Nice. So you have some new beginnings and love coming through during this time frame or a renewal of love for yourself or others. This opening up your heart chakra, that's for absolute sure. What is, give me one more for the Ace of Cups. And the King of Wands. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So emotionally, feeling pretty good. You know, I feel like the energy is definitely lifting for you just in general. You know, new things happening for you. Ready to um, have that new fresh energy in your life, you know, but not being in a rush. Letting it happen when it's supposed to happen. Um, in the meantime, building up your sense of security, your sense of confidence, um, learning to be present in the present moment is helping to move the energy along. Um, it may be slower than you want, but it's definitely moving forward and emotionally opening up. This is your heart opening. This is love. This is being in love. Some of you are in love with this person. Some of you are in love with your damn self. It doesn't matter. Um, love is love. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like you're getting your confidence back you know, for sure. Um, and that's motivating you to move forward um, in, in a very heartfelt way. That's all I want to say. In a very heartfelt way where it's like, you know, feeling secure enough in yourself to kind of even put yourself out there a little bit more or to be more vulnerable a little bit more, which is not easy for a Scorpio to do, especially if you've been hiding your intentions in the past, it may be a very difficult for you to do, but I actually feel like in, deep down inside, that is what you want. You want to be honest and be open and be vulnerable and feel confident, you know, and, and feel like it's okay to do so. Like, I feel like you're seeking out a relationship or the opportunity with this person for some of you, either or, to to where you can feel comfortable opening yourself up like that and confident that you can trust, you know, um, because I, you know, trust is key. So let's see what this person is feeling in the emotional space here, Scorpio, underneath it all. Where are they at emotionally? The Ten of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and Justice. Ooh, Four of Swords, Seven of Cups. Okay. So, um, this person emotionally is totally exhausted. They went put through the ringer. Okay. That's what I felt. It could have been their own doing. <laughs> um, but it could be because of other things going on. I mean, at the end of the day... We are our own creators, so it is always our own doing, but um, take it as it resonates. This person feels emotionally exhausted, and yet wanting to emotionally express themselves in a balanced way, and yet not doing anything about it, because emotionally they're confused. This person is trying to balance themselves out, okay? Because I feel like life or themselves have done a number on themselves and it got heavy. And so now the emotions of this person is like um, almost almost uh, confusing for them. You know, because it's like feeling emotionally hurt 
and wanting to open up about that um, and or let it go and then open up but not really feeling balanced enough and then not saying anything about it because there's so much confusion going on um, within their heart space, all right? So I feel like this person's kind of at a dead end. They're not really entirely sure where to go or where to put their emotions at this point. So they're trying to go within, you know, and that's what spirit's calling them to do, to go within so that they can figure themselves out um, to get the clarity that they need. They're doing some emotional cleansing, possibly energy work if this person is an energy worker um, to clear out their heart space or being guided by spirit to do just that. But I feel like this person's not really sure what's right for them because, again, they were misled in the past when they thought they were doing something that was going to make them happy and it, and it ended up um, putting them in bondage instead. That's the word. And so now it's like I don't trust my emotions because that did not work out, you know, in the past. And then being overly cautious with it to where they're not doing much of anything except dwelling. So <clears throat> let's see what your hopes are, Scorpio, for, for this time frame. Ace of, Pe Ace of Swords, Six of Pentacles, you want clarity, you want peace of mind, you want equal give and take, you want financial security. You want, um, I heard passive income. Some of you may be looking for ways to make passive income. Um, yeah, I mean, that's just, that's it. You want a clear mind. Let's see what this person's hope is. Seven of Wands. So it's a very protective energy, okay? So this person wants to let the walls down a little bit, but I feel like there's a fear here of um, trusting, whether that's you or themselves or just in general. Like this person does not want to be put in a position where they have to defend themselves, you know, or where, where they will be judged, like that type of energy, and you know, and hoping to have... Um, like I said, either communication or some sort of movement forward. But not wanting to be like pinned against the wall. You know what I'm saying? Not want to be, not want to be back into bondage. That's what it is. The inside of my ear is itching so bad. <laughs> All right, so most likely future outcome for Scorpio. Now keep in mind, all of the future outcomes can be changed based off of free will. Um, I'm just giving you a snapshot. I had a card fly. It's the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles and the Wheel. So now I have another song, same lyric, Turn Around, and it's Maroon 5. This came out in Aries reading, so you can be connecting with Aries. And it's Wait, the song Wait, Wait. Would you turn around? Would you turn around? Just wait. High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like Scorpio, you know, this is a time to plant your intentions, okay? Because... There is something building up momentum in the energy that is going to come to fruition for a lot of you around the 7th to 8th month of this year. Um, or it's something that you've been working on for the past 7 to 8 months that's getting ready to come to fruition. All right. But I feel like there's fortune here. Um, and I heard fortune favors the wise. So I feel like whatever intentions that you set 
things are moving, things are uh, coming, mo oh, I'm getting too many words at once, please. Moving into motion right now. <laughs> Something into motion. Set into motion. Thank you. Things are being set into motion. Or things that you set into motion seven to eight months ago are coming to fruition during this time period. It might kind of put you at an impasse, right? Because some of you have been steadily working on a path. And now it's like something that you asked for or requested you know, but could not come in for you because maybe the way you were thinking about it was wrong, you know, or the timing wasn't right. And now you're on this path and then all of a sudden here's this other opportunity coming in and it kind of splits the road a little bit. So I, I heard the word impasse. Um, some of you might be empaths, which would not be unusual for Scorpio. And it's like, okay, which way is it going to go? Which way is it going to go? Because you're in the driver's seat, I feel. This is this is you taking your power back. This is you having the choice, the decision to be made about which, you know, direction to go. Um, and some of you might be the one into the occult or witchcraft or maybe just like tarot. I mean, some people think tarot is the occult, whatever. Um, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Because I have the black cat here in both depictions, both Queen of Wands here. Some of you might have fire placements in your chart. If it's not that, then it's just, um, you know, using the magic of your essence to make things happen. Where are your natural talents? Where are your natural abilities? We all have them, okay? Um, and cultivating that. And I got that in the last Scorpio reading, that to use your natural gifts. You know, what is it that you're gifted at? D dive deep. Because that's got a lot to do with your spiritual path and where you're going to find the fortune that you're looking for. And I don't mean just fortune in money. I mean in feeling fortunate, having things come to pass that you want, you know, seeing things manifest that you wanted. For some of you, you've wanted to manifest this connection. And that certainly could be also what's coming into fruition, but you'll know if that's you. So let's see what this person's most likely future energy is. Hangman. Okay. The lover's card. The moon. The queen of cups. So, Scorpio, um, this person, there's a bit of a time out here. Okay, and I saw that this person turned their back in the past energy. But I feel like then I heard turn around again. Now I'm hearing turn around bright eyes. <laughs> so there's there's something turning around within this situation here. Okay. Um, or a, a quick look back period for some of you. But I actually feel it's a pretty strong push. So I feel like this person is getting a higher perspective on most likely the connection. Could be twin flame soulmate energy if you um, follow that uh, or 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 are if I can talk in one of those connections, um, and you'll know if you're in one of those uh, connections because you'll mirror everything. Meaning, like when you are feeling a certain way, this person's feeling a certain way. When you're going through certain things in your life, this person's going through the same things. And also, you mirror your behaviors towards each other. So when you lie to this person, they lie to you. When you're honest, they're honest, you know. Like, that's what's so tough about Twin Flame Connections, for those of you who follow it. If you don't, that's okay. Um, is because it constantly will show you you. So you can't lie. You can't manipulate a Twin Flame. You can't push it faster than it needs to because you'd be lying to yourself. Like that. <laughs> If you're not familiar with it, go Google it. You'll find all kinds of stuff. Some of it's true, some of it's not. But use your discernment. Even if that's not it, this person feels, you know, a very heavy connection here, okay? Or they're very focused on relationships just in general. Getting a different perspective on relationships. Getting a different perspective of how they behave within relationships. 
um, really doing some soul searching with the moon here, really digging deep. This person might be very emotional during this time frame. They might be just emotional or sensitive in general with the Queen of Cups here. Um, they're getting back in touch with their emotions and how they honestly feel and gaining some sort of new ideas about that or new perspectives. This person could be dreaming or feel tied to the connection in the dream state or you might, Scorpio. Um, but, I, but either way, this person is in this, like, okay, they're evolving emotionally is what I was told. Uh, they're highly weighing out how they're feeling, okay? And if it's not in regards to you, then it's just relationships in general. And for some, the relationship they have with themselves, okay? Um, because this person may have felt misled by themselves in the past, by themselves, you know? But it certainly could be in regards to this connection, Scorpio. So that's kind of where their energy is in the near future energy. And I think that's where I'm going to leave it because we're a good ways in. But it looks beautiful. Honestly, whether you're connected to this person or not, I mean, fortune is favoring you. What more do you want to know? <laughs> With or without this person. Um, but this person is doing a lot of soul searching um, and emotionally getting ready to open up uh, for most of you. But... You, it'll be different for each of you. Let me know down in the comments down below. Don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe. Let me tell you what zodiac signs you might be dealing with. Uh, you could be dealing with another Scorpio or Pisces, Gemini, Libra. Leo energy, Aquarius energy, Aries energy. Aries. Again, be Taurus or Virgo, Cancer. Those are the primary zodiac signs I have, but keep in mind it could be any zodiac sign because it is a general reading. Um, like I said, take it as it resonated. Um, don't forget to check me out on Facebook and Instagram as well. Link down in the description box below. You can find me there for more fun stuff. I go live on Facebook a lot. I just talk about spirituality, meditation, law of attraction. Uh, my own awakening process so you can find that there I also added a donation button to the about section of my YouTube so you can go over there and donate to the channel if you would like to you don't have to it's appreciated but never expected also if you like my style you can get it for yourself at my sister's online boutique avasofiaco.com link down in the description box below support small online businesses guys either way I'm wishing you the very best and until next time Namaste.